Hey guys, good morning. Good Friday morning. A couple things to address real quick. I'm quickly approaching a thousand subs. A lot faster than I thought I was going to. And I appreciate you guys. That's awesome. So now I might do my next giveaway at like 1200 subs. To get an idea of what I want to do and what input from you guys. What do you guys want? I kind of botched the last one. Total Steve Harvey moment, but I'll get that rectified. So of course, if you like your seat, go ahead and give it a like, give it a comment, give it a sub over there. And today we're going to be doing speakers on the rear of the Z06. I've heard a lot of forms and stuff on how to do this and it's all these panels you got to take off and the FRC or Z06 is such a pain in the ass to do. It's not. It's super simple. I'll show you how to do it. It takes like five minutes per side. So yeah, I'll show you what I got here and then we'll go out to the garage. All right, nothing too crazy. Just uh, Kenwood. I think these were like $35. Um, you're going to need this guy to make your life a little easier. It's a little GM adapter that goes straight to the speaker, to the uh, factory harness. This was for something really cheap. And these are flush mount speakers. The model is KFC Delta 131, if you like them. So let's go out to the car and uh, throw these in real quick and see how they sound. All right, guys, I here in the garage. First and foremost, I like to go ahead and disconnect my battery. I highly recommend you do that. Eight millimeter, you're all set. So to do this operation, very, very simple. You're gonna need a 47 or 48 Torx bit, seven millimeter and your fingers. That's it. So first thing you're gonna do, seatbelt shoulder torque bit right there. Take that off. It's not torqued on there too terribly hard. That comes right off this panel right here. Just go ahead and pull it up there. Pull it to the side it gives you more than enough room to work with to get to your speaker which is right here let me see this which was right there i already got it out there's four seven millimeters take those off speaker comes out and you have your little clip right here undo that you're going to put your new adapter on right here put the other side on your speaker right there and boom you're all set so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and show you how it looks Boom, good to go. Took about eight minutes to get in. It's kind of awkward to get the little bolts back in around the little secure tabs, but it's not impossible. A little bit of a uh, hand gymnastics, you can get it done. All right, go ahead and ta tackle the other side and we'll fire her up. All right, both sides, good to go. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Yeah, all the forms make this job seem like you're changing the transmission. You gotta remove the seat. You don't have to do any of that. It's literally the shoulder seatbelt, bolt, torque bit comes out, pull the panel back, Gives you more than enough room to get in there. Your four bolts for the speaker, and boom, you're done. Both sides took me like 20 minutes. Easy day. All right, let's see how it sounds. All right, so here we go. Everything's on, plug back in. Speakers work. I got the YouTube library up so I don't get copyrighted. So I'm gonna go ahead and play something random here. I don't know what it is, just bear with me. I know it's hard to convey sound over a couple mediums coming from my microphone to the computer to your computer, but it sounds markedly better and I'm happy. So, and I think I might do the little twiddlers in the door at some point, maybe. You can do those safely without worrying about the amp as well. So I hope you guys found this useful. If you did, go ahead and give it a little, little comment, give it a like, give it a little sub, and I'll catch you guys next time. Later.